Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this video, we will explain you about the coordinate systems in StatPro. There are four coordinate systems in StatPro that is, global coordinate, local coordinate, cylindrical, and reverse cylindrical coordinate systems. In this video, we will explain you about global coordinate system and local coordinate system. Cylindrical and reverse cylindrical will be explaining after you learn how to model a structure in StatPro. At that time, it will be easy for you to understand cylindrical and reverse cylindrical. Let's see what is global and local coordinate system. To understand the difference between these two systems, I have come up with an example. Look at this 2D frame. Here there is two columns and one beam. When you work with global coordinate system, these three members will be considered under global coordinate system and see what happens when I apply 2 kN load in global y direction. Look at the axis below. Here you can see the x axis, y axis, z axis. If you want to see your global axis, you need to press shift plus i in your keyboard. And here you can see the y axis is going upwards. That is the reason I have given minus 2 kN load. So what happens? The load will be acting downwards. Right? And you can see when I give 2 kN load in global y direction, all the load is acting downwards for all the members. Let's see what happens when I apply the same load in local coordinate system. To display the local axis, you need to press shift plus O and you can see local axis in each members. This is the major difference between local axis and global axis. Global axis is just one for all the members and local axis is separate for each members. And look at the load acting. When I given minus 2 kN load in Y axis, program knows the y axis is going outwards from the beam so it is giving in this direction and the top beam it is giving in the downwards direction see this is the difference between local axis and global axis have a closer look at this beam you can see here this is global axis and this is local axis the blue color is x axis Red is Y axis and green is Z axis. Here you can identify the difference. The Y axis is going up in the global axis and in local axis the Y is coming outwards. So this is the difference between global axis and local axis. So whenever you give load to any structures, you have to tell program whether you are giving in global or local. So if you have a good understanding on these two systems, it's easy for you to apply loads in the structures. So I hope you understood this video. Keep posting your queries and feedbacks. And for more videos, log into www.tutomash.com. Thank you.